home can be a holy place or a place of strife. It can be a testimony to God's grace or witness to our fallen nature. At times, it can be both at once. But what many of us fail to recognize is a spiritual drama that takes place in homes just like this, as God uses the challenges and joys of married and family life to reveal himself to us and to shape our character. This series on sacred marriage isn't going to be yet another how-to approach on marriage, how to resolve conflict or improve communication or keep romance fresh and fun. While there's a place for that, there's also an inherent weakness in that approach, and the weakness is this. A lot of us already know the how-to, but we've lost the heart to. We've lost the heart to apply it, and without the heart, the how-to doesn't really matter. It's my prayer that this series will renew your heart. It will make you care more about your marriage. It will renew your affection for your spouse and even renew your heart for your God. Because I believe that marriage isn't just a mechanical relationship between two people that needs to be tweaked or fixed. I believe it's a sacred enterprise that God can use to reveal himself to us and to season our souls along the way.